Cardano, 88 to the moon. Oh, we gonna be rich, girlfriend. We also got key dates in regards to the SEC Ripple appeal. You need to hear about them because we have some juicy times coming up. We're also gonna talk XRP price action along with Brad Garlinghouse. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Happy Thirsty Thursday, everyone, and how are you doing today? Hoping my wife gets my Snapchat, but I doubt it because the network is slow AF. Your comments come first, and then we'll get into the crypto news. Patrick Dalton from Sweden says XRP is going to 30 cents. That's well said, Klaus. This is a bad signal for crypto for sure. This is going to make the cash run from crypto. Election, war, inflation, storms. This is a bad month for sure. Risky assets. No way, says retail. Yeah, this is... This is going to be a rough one for risky assets this month because we do have a lot of things going on. John Horton says, I feel like switching to XDC now. Ripple could relieve the pressure if they burn some of the XRP. I heavily suggest investing in silver. People are moving to safe haven assets. Would the burn of XRP help right now? Or is honestly the SEC rain cloud looming over our heads just too much? We're going to talk dates coming up because you might be able to play some pumps and dumps. Let's get into the news. Bitcoin's in at 6,544 while ETH is at 2,353. BNB's at 539 while Sol is pulling back heavy as well. XRP down 11% as 24 hours. We're going to talk XRP price action at the end. Aptos is looking good. Sui is pulling back from its latest move. Near Protocol pulling back. XLM under nine cents. But where's all my moon boys out there talking about you're going to be rich holding XLM? Rich, huh? Hmm, maybe if that's your first name, dick. Charles Hoskinson lauds major Cardano ADA milestone. Oh, Charles is always out there pimping ADA. And the best part about this is this is yet another upgrade. The Midnight team officially announced the launch of TestNet on Tuesday, inviting developers from around the world to engage with the network and contribute to its ongoing development. This release is a key step towards bringing Midnight to mainnet. The network aimed to provide a secure environment for transactions and dApps by utilizing zero-knowledge cryptography. This enables privacy features without compromising the overall security of the blockchain. People think Cardano's going to moon. ADA will hit $2 by the end of the year. $10 by quarter two, 2025. Cardano is going to the moon. Here's another one. ADA going to the moon. Today, near tomorrow, $12. Oh my God, melting faces. What's the price of Cardano? 33 fucking cents. 33 fucking cents. And these fucking losers out here are calling for $2 ADA. Once ADA breaks $3 in quarter one, 2025, we're going to the moon. You're going to 10x right now in the situation that we're in. Middle East tensions there. Money is still expensive. Retail doesn't give a shit anymore because they're pretty much out of money. And yet ADA is going to moon. And ADA can't even freaking break 40 cents and hold it. We're sitting at 33.9. But that's what you're going to get though. You're going to get... All of these people out there saying, oh, Moon ADA, Cardano has usage, Moon, they've got adoption, they got utility, oh, Cardano, true, decentral, it's, it's all bullshit. Everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's talking about, oh, we're going to tokenize. Okay, how many chains are tokenizing? Bunch of them. Oh my God, we're going to do smart contracts. How many chains got smart contracts? A bunch of them. Oh, we're going to move money cheaply across borders. How many chains are doing that? A fucking bunch of them. They're all doing the same thing. And the most disgusting thing about this is all the hopium pumpers coming out saying, oh, ADA is going to the moon, baby. ADA, we're going to be rich. We're going to the moon. It's programmed by NASA. NASA and ADA. Fuck off. Seriously, it's so fucking gross to watch this shit. The hopium junk is nasty, and honestly, I think it's wreck crypto. I really do. Ripple versus the SEC. Critical appeal dates. You want to know, because remember, we saw some juicy plays around some of these dates, right, that happened with the case. So if you want long-term action with XRP, well, it's going to be a little tough when you got the case going on. And let me ask you a question. Do you think that XRP is going to miss out on this bull run now that Gary the Ferry appealed? Or was this bull run gone to begin with? But here are those key dates for those you want to play the short-term action, because that's where the love's been. After Torres ruled last year the secondary sales were not securities, many saw it as a win for Ripple, but controversy over institutional sales has kept the spotlight. The key dates look like this. 
SEC's opening brief, which is likely due December 2nd. However, the SEC is expected to request a 30-day extension, pushing it to early January. And that's the whole thing. You're going to have extension on extension on extension. So look at this to go well into 2026. Now, hold on. I got more dates for you just to show you how much time you have because you know what's going to happen, right? You're going to be able to go onto Twitter and they're going to be like, yo, bro, this is just time to pack the bags. This is just this is just more time. Let's pump the fuck out of XRP. Time to make moves and send this thing to the moon. Are you fucking serious? Retail can't send this shit to the moon. It's a mess right now. And no one wants to send it to the moon in terms of big money because they're like, dude, for real? How many more years of this crap? Let's get to some more dates. By late March of 2025, reply briefs will be filed with oral arguments likely scheduled for September or October in 2025. A final ruling from the Second Circuit Court is expected no earlier than January 2026, but most likely an outcome of March or April in 2026. Should the case progress beyond this point, it could take an additional one and a half to two years to the Supreme Court pushing this thing out to 2027. 2027. So we go on to Twitter and we're like, oh yeah, baby, XRP to the moon. XRP, we're waiting for XRP moon base functionality. XRP moon this moon. And that's all you're seeing right now. That's all you're seeing right now is people calling it for the moon. Oh, well, the SEC is going to withdraw. They're not going to withdraw their appeal. They're not going to just for fun appeal and then withdraw it. I mean, come on now. And seriously, that's the problem. Everyone in social media right now is telling you what you want to hear. I'm telling you the news, whether it's good or bad, happy or sad. And right now, the news is pretty sad. You've got a big gray cloud of rain hanging over the price of XRP. The worst thing about it, though, is the moon boys and gals out there are like, oh, bro, bro. The only thing right now that's good for XRP is the volume is up. And when the volume is up, of which, by the way, the volume is at $3.2 billion, who makes money on volume? Oh, the exchanges. That's right. That's right. Because exchanges make money whether you buy or sell. So the exchanges are happy because there's like, yo, there's a lot of volume with XRP. There's a lot of people selling. There's a lot of people buying. We're making money both ways. Is the holder making money for XRP? Well, God, I could zoom out to this chart here and show you that no girlfriend, the holder, is not making money on XRP. In fact, every time we climb up to that north of 60, 65 cent mark, some news happens that pumps us and then we come on down. Look at this. It's happened three times. Happened right here in November of 2023. Happened again right here in March of 2024. And it happened again right here just a couple days ago. But remember, everyone wants to tell you what you want to hear and who are some of the most guilty out there. How about this? Brad Garlinghouse issues a shock of 5 trillion U.S. crypto price prediction. Market cap of 5 trillion. Because, of course, Brad wants to tell you what you want to hear. Danell Dixon told you that you were guaranteed to get regs in 2023. Bitch, it's the end of 2024, and we still don't have regs. That's because these CEOs tell you what you want to hear, what you need to hear. How how well do you think Stellar would do if Danell Dixon was realistic and was like, look, we're not getting regs this year. We're not getting shit done with this, this crappy-ass government that we got. It wouldn't be good, would it? But it would be truthful. Brad Garlinghouse is like, yo, I think we're going to have a five billion dollar trillion dollar market cap for crypto this is what he said the overall market cap of the crypto industry is easily predicted to double by the end of this year as it's impacted by all of these macro factors brad what are you talking about man it's going to take 12 to 18 months for macros to improve and yet brad was talking about doubling this stuff earlier in the year April of 2024 of when he did that. So again, it goes back out there. You go to social media, you go to the leaders of all these crypto things, they're telling you what you want to hear, right? Charles is always talking about, oh, ADA, man, we're doing all this cool stuff. And then the knob gobblers, the ones that suck their own peen are like, yo, bro, we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. No, you're going to 33 fucking cents if you own ADA. And if you're lucky, maybe you touch 40 cents. Speaking of touching it, 
Touch the like button if you like this realistic news without the moon boy hopium bullshit that's out there. And then you got Brad Garlinghouse. Five trillion dollar market cap. How? How? That sure as fuck not going to happen. And that's the problem I have. Is I wish more of these crypto execs out there would be realistic. I wish more of them would be like, look. And I'll, let's look. Let's pretend. Let's pretend and have me be Danelle Dixon real quick. And instead of her dumb ass saying, oh, we're going to get stablecoin rights in 2023. Let me reenact what she should have said. Danelle should have said, you know what? I'm hoping we get regs in 2023, but the reality is it doesn't look like it's going to happen because our government doesn't work with this. So this side of the aisle doesn't work with that side of the aisle. But maybe we could get some changes in to make something happen in 2024 before the election. No, instead it's, no, no, stable coins, they're going to happen in 2023. Brad comes out and he's like, $5 trillion market cap. Okay, Brad, because... Now we've got at least until 2026, potentially 2027, where we still have to deal with the SEC. And if we zoom out here, we can see exactly when the SEC did damage to XRP and what it's done to the price. We're going on four years of this case, and we might be able to extend that bad boy out onto seven years. So remember, I bring you the news, whether it's good or bad, happy or sad. Is ADA doing some upgrades? Yeah. Is it leading to price? Fuck no. Is Ripple and the SEC going on even longer? Yeah. Is it going to keep money on the sideline? Fuck yeah, it is. Are institutions and big players going to want to get involved knowing that this is going to drag on for even longer? No. They didn't want to get involved beforehand while the case was going on. Why would they get involved now during the appeal process? No, they're going to wait till it is completely resolved. Are there leaders out there telling you what you want to hear? Yeah. Remember your mom telling you, oh, you did a good job, son. You did a good job, honey. No, you didn't do a fucking good job. That was just your mom trying to blow smoke up your ass so you felt good. Well, guess what? Danelle Dixon and Brad Garlinghouse are not your fucking mom. They're telling you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. And what you need to hear is that the market is going to suck balls until we get regs. The only way we're going to get regs is if we get a massive change in the political atmosphere here. The SEC is going to keep wrecking crypto. They're currently going after exchanges and NFTs trying to stop you from buying crypto. Macros aren't that good right now. Middle East tension sucks. Gold is stealing all of the thunder. Gold's pumping big time. In terms of rates, it's going to take 12 to 18 months for rates to come down in order to have a bigger impact on the market. Five trillion dollar market cap. You ever seen his fucking house? Does your house look like that? Didn't think so. So are XRP holders going to miss out on this bull run because Gary the Fairy Green lit the appeal? But yeah, that's just one layer. You still got rates which are way too high and risk assets just aren't able to push through that right now. I just don't like this overwhelming optimism. And don't get me wrong, it's good to be optimistic, right? I mean, I had like no power for how many days? You had no water, no nothing. No comms, it was a mess. Was I sitting here telling my kids, oh, don't worry, kids, we're going to get power tomorrow. We're going to, I was like, no. I was like, look, we might not get power for a few days. So to prepare for it, we're going to do X, Y, and Z. I was like, hey, if we get power, awesome, then we've prepared for it. But I'm not sitting here providing false hope to people. The power companies out there weren't doing that either. They weren't like, you're going to get power tomorrow. And then a week later, fuck you guys. You still don't have power. No. They're telling people what they needed to hear. And what they needed to hear was, hey, this is going to take a long ass time to fix the power. So start figuring things out on your own because help is going to be a while away. And see, the problem we have is that the crypto industry is built on hopium. People suck in their own peens, reaching arounding themselves while they backdoor themselves. And the worst part is, it's not just crypto Twitter. It's the crypto leaders as well. Charles is one of them. Danelle's another one. Brad's another one. They're all coming out with this crazy shit. And what are you seeing with price-wise? And I know people are like, bro, why are you ripping on them? It's not that I'm ripping on them. What I'm ripping on is the idea that these people keep shooting and calling for the moon, even though it's all burning up right in front of them. And it bothers me because how would you feel if you were one of those people in the storm and the power company's like, don't worry, 
don't worry, you're going to get power tomorrow. So you're like, well, okay, I'm not going to worry about getting ice. I'm not going to worry about getting water. I'm, I'm not going to worry about this stuff because we're going to have power tomorrow. We're going to be good to go. And then tomorrow comes and you're like, didn't go to the store because you were like, well, we're going to get power, so we're going to be fine. And then all of a sudden the next day comes and the next day and the next day. And before you know it, you're fucked because you listen to stupid fucking hopium rather than real news. And if you wonder why I'm so upset regarding this, it's because you are the piggy bank. These exchanges, and as I showed you in the previous screen, XRP volume over three billion, who's making money on that? It's the exchanges when you're buying and selling and pushing shit back and forth. What about the DEXs making money on the gas moving the stuff back and forth? The swaps and all that. People exiting their XRP, getting into XCC, other things. Exchanges are making money on that. The swaps are making money on that. Are you? Or are you being told that, oh, the moon is just, just right down the bed. It's, it's right over. We just got to get gotta get over that hill and then we're going to get to the moon. We're going to get regs in 2023, I guarantee it. Garmin says that we're in late 2024. Unless you got a better Garmin than I do, but I doubt it. Five trillion dollar market. Can we, can, can we get to three trillion first before we call the fives? And that's the thing. All of these like big like promises, these big hopium balls are just deflating the market because none of them are coming to truth. Oh, well, well when, when Cardano launches this update, we're, we're going to get on the rocket pad and we're going to... No, you're going to look like Challenger. We went... Like that. But that's okay. They're going to keep feeding you bullshit while I keep feeding you the news. And I got to go because not only am I feeding the news, but I got my chainsaw chains in and I'm going to help my community out some more. So I'm going to go cut for the next several hours and get people out of their homes, get trees off their houses, start fixing things up and not tell people that we're going to be good tomorrow. No, this is going to take a long time to clean up. But we're going to be here to support each other. That's truth, not hopium. Choo-choo, bitches.